Hello, and welcome back to another one of my Let's Plays of some contest lows. So yes, we are back with another lower design contest for the Lemmings forums, uh, LDC number 29, um, with three brand new rules. Uh, this time they were picked by King Shadow 3, uh, who was the winner of the previous uh, LDC, uh, LDC number 28. And uh, yeah, th uh, this one should be pretty quick, uh, since uh, there weren't that many participants this time. Um, there were four for Neo Lemmix, yeah, myself included, and uh, just Geo this time for Licks. Uh, but this time there are only two Licks entries. So, uh, as usual, I'm just going to be covering the Licks entries first. And uh, we are actually starting with Rule 2 here. And um, let me see, what was Rule 2? Oh, yes, Rule 2 was just um, uh, basically depicting some kind of vehicle. So, uh, you know, like a train, car, ship. Uh, slash boat, etc. Um, so it's pretty similar to the um, Route 2 from the previous LDC, except that one was uh, some kind of animal. This time it's some kind of vehicle. So, uh, yes, um, for Lix, there is no Route 1, so we're just going to start with Route 2 here. So we have uh, Geo's Dangerous Goods here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and load my replay here. <laughs> Alright, this one, it isn't too difficult, but there are still some things that you need to realize here. So here you only have two licks. Uh, so with the first one, I'm going to go ahead and dig with her. Okay, the other one will slip by, but she will come back to, into the digger pit in the meantime. Okay, and then right about here, I'm going to go ahead and bash with the other one. Yeah, that's walking inside the digger pit. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and time skip this since the bashing is going to take a while here. Alright, so she's going to fall down, where we're going to go for a floater, since this is obviously splat height. Now, this is the thing in which, um, yeah, I didn't realize that these were actually crucial to the solution. They just looked like they were, like, simply background stuff that, um, for, like, decoration purposes. But no, these are, are actually important. So, um, here is the, um, trap trigger, so we need to go ahead and jump over it. Yeah, and this here is a spring, yeah, which will fling the licks. Yeah, not in this direction. Yeah, since, um, well, in this direction first. Yeah, since he's walking out to the right. But then there's a tree that blocks her, so she goes back to the left. And then she's going to use it again. Yeah, which uh, bumps her on the underside of the uh, tree here. And then uh, she uses the steam here. Yeah, so this is something completely new that I've uh, just learned about licks. Yeah, I didn't realize that this could be used Yeah, to interact. And uh, fling the uh, licks um, somewhere else. So once I actually sent the licks over there and see and saw what happens i was like oh that's how you get the licks in on this middle level here so yeah anyway once uh, she gets up here and recovers you're gonna go ahead and bash all right and then i should be bombing her soon yeah there we go okay and then we're gonna go ahead and bash to the right with the other one with the other licks. Okay, and finally, all this left to do is to platform over. And that's it. That's how you save your one licks here. So again, it's not too difficult of a lower, but yeah, I didn't realize that the steam right here, yeah, uh, where the trap is, yeah, that it could actually be used to for the licks to interact with and get her to someplace else in the level. So once I actually did send the licks over there, yeah, then I realized, oh, that's how you solve the low. Yeah, but before that, I was actually stuck here. But, uh, yeah. Um, this is pretty much just like the third, uh, contest, I believe. Yeah, in which there were Lick Sentries. And so, yeah, I'm still learning things about Lick that I did not know about before. Yeah, this is, happens to be one of them. So, yes. That is my solution to, uh, Geo's Dangerous Goods. And now for the next one. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna go ahead and back out here. Yeah, and then we're going to go on to Route 3, and it's another low by Geo. Yeah, uh, this time, Origami Master. Uh, for Route 3, uh, let me see, what was Route 3? Oh, yes, uh, for Route 3, uh, in Neo Lemmix, um, you need to use um, at least three pairs of teleporters slash receivers. Uh, but in uh, Lex, there, there are no such things. Uh, yeah, such things do not exist in Lex, and so therefore... Uh, I guess like the spring thingies that you saw in like the previous level, 
yeah, that's like the uh, closest substitute that you can get to teleporters uh, slash receivers in Neo Lemmix. So yes, um, that's pretty much the rule set here. Yeah, just make a low using one of those objects. Yeah, that Licks can interact with and um, get flung or, or, or something like that, I think. Uh, but anyway, uh, for this one, oh yes, I had two replays here because like, um, after Gio uh, saw my replay, uh, he said that I really overcomplicated the solution here. And so I tried to do what he described in the spoiler, but I was like, eh, I don't find it that much easier. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and load the um, the earliest, um, or rather the earlier replay. <laughs> but yes, this one, oh my goodness, I found this one extremely frustrating because like, um, I had to adjust this so many times before it finally worked. But anyway, yeah. Uh, you start with a pretty high release right here, and so what I do is that I block them in with the uh, first legs. And then... No, I don't release them, okay. Alrighty, uh, this trap actually takes a pretty long time to uh, re-trigger, so uh, yeah, by this time the crowd is compressed enough so that everyone slips by and so another one does not get killed and then uh, let me see what happened here yeah and then some licks like um like around the middle of the train and stuff yeah i go ahead and build with her so the whole point of this is to like get high enough so that they can use this um um spring like object to uh get flung yeah that's how we get over the wall here and um, since it is RR sensitive, yeah, only some of them will get flung at a time. Alrighty, and then I go ahead and block with the first licks here. Um, yeah, I think this was pretty pixel precise. But this was mostly caused by how I did the first part. Because basically what Gia told me was that um, I could have made this part a lot easier by simply having a licks jump over the trap at the very beginning. But, uh, yeah, that's essentially what my second replay is. But, um, yeah, I honestly did not find it that much easier. Alright, and then one more licks to uh, make it into this uh, clutter here. Yeah, then I go ahead and bomb that blocker. Alright, but unfortunately for me, uh, this trap uh, does um, finish its cooldown on time. And so therefore gets another licks killed. However, I do have a spare jumper for the lax li last licks in the train. So I go ahead and make her jump. Therefore, uh, she does not get killed by the trap. Because everyone else does slip by. And then, this was another part that I found very frustrating because uh, a lot of my earlier attempts, yeah, had some licks um, um, get on by these um, spring traps. I mean, <laughs> spring traps. Um, these spring uh, objects. And therefore, some of them fall to the bottom of this pit. Yeah, which you cannot have. Yeah, because essentially your only losses here are one from this trap, one to this trap, and then this blocker that you uh, bomb. So therefore, that essentially means that no licks can pass, uh, can get through any of these springs. Yeah, if even one lick gets passed, yeah, then you do not have to low solve. So, I gotta say, that was very, very frustrating because I had to adjust the uh, position of the blockers or even the builder. Yeah, which licks does the building? Yeah, so many times before I finally got it to work. I was like, wow, this is pretty unforgiving. But again, yeah, Gio did tell me that I overcomplicated the solution here. Um, and as a matter of fact, yeah, I could probably um, show that one off as well. Yeah, the later, the one with the later timestamp. But essentially, yeah, the only difference here was that really I just blocked with the second licks instead. And then just have the first one jump over the trap. Yeah, and then build as usual. Okay, and then I bomb the uh, blocker. Yeah, just before the this uh, builder finishes. Because this is actually, yeah, jumping over the trap was what Gio described to me in the spoiler. Yeah, for the solution. But yeah, quite honestly, I didn't find it that much easier. Yeah, by doing that instead. Though I suppose the distribution is a little, like, better, I guess. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what's the best way to describe it. But anyway, yeah, uh, this one looks a little bit better with like not as much spacing in between the uh, lixes. But anyway, yeah, just bond the blocker as usual and then, yeah. 
one more lick dies through the trap, and then everyone else uses the springs. Yeah, and no one slips by. Yeah, uh, so this one didn't seem like as messy. Yeah, now that I'm looking at it again. But in my experiences, though, I still had to do a lot of readjustments. Yeah, at the positioning of the blockers and stuff. Yeah, before I got this to work, too. So, yeah, honestly, I didn't find, like, what you described to me a lot easier than what I did. But in any case, I do take his word, though, that I really overcomplicated my solution, though. So, just know that the first replay is my solution. While the second one is kind of a uh, Geo's um, uh, method, yeah, that he described. Yeah, but when I tried it, I honestly had to still adjust the positioning and stuff before it finally worked. Yeah, in particular with the springs at the very, uh, just before the exit, so that no one um, slips by them. Okay, so uh, this was all the uh, lick centuries already. So, yeah, we're already done. And so, yeah, with that, we're going to go ahead and move on to the Neolithic centuries. And so, I will see you guys all there. So, hope you enjoyed this first video of, the, of my playthrough of the LDC number 29 contest levels. And I'll see you off with the Neo Lemmix, uh, uh entries next.